Jay Mohanji. It gives me uh, such pleasure and utmost joy and in such gratitude that I stand before you now to express my love more than my appreciation and gratitude, my love to my beloved Guruji Mohanji. To be frank and honest, um, I am a bundle of confusion, really. Uh, I thought I knew myself. Um, I thought I knew where I was going. I thought what my aims and ambitions were. But frankly, they were all of the mind. And after meeting Mohanji, my Guruji, they were all just simply dashed to smithereens because my Guruji knows me better than I know myself. And especially I'm going to talk about what happened here in this retreat. I came here not knowing what to expect, but I did have a lot of body issues, a lot of stuff, stuff, gunk, you know, that we collect. And uh, I think you, we all know what, <laughs> over the years and over lifetimes what we have collected, which we are not even aware of and which keep coming up over and over and over again. And at times you just simply get absolutely fed up and you don't know what to do. So, to, the, I, irrespective of what people may think about a master, whether one needs a master to progress in, uh, spiritually or not, my personal opinion is, when we are in mind, especially when one is in spiritual mind, I think it's a rather sad place to be. Because when we are in spiritual mind, we think we know everything. And we, don't, we think we don't need a guru to help guide us or to help show the way. But a guru is absolutely essential because we think we know. But really speaking, it is only the mind that knows because the mind just keeps us on this level here, you know, and we're going round in circles all the time. And after meeting Mohanji, what happened was I was pulled up vertically. You go this way instead of going like this all the time. My guru knows exactly what I need. I think I need something and I express what I need. But he said, you don't worry. Yeah, you don't worry, you know. Uh, you don't worry, I know what I'm doing, I'm doing my job. So he keeps doing his job. And in such year in Serbia, in, it was so playful, so many such unimaginable, um, beautiful energy that was transferred to me, the work that was done on me. I don't even know what was done, well, but I just opened my heart and I just simply received that that joyful, playful nature. I couldn't wait to come to Serbia. Uh, I know Mo the consciousness of Mohanji, which is beyond form, is everywhere. Um, beyond time, beyond space, beyond dimensions, blah, blah. So, but I couldn't wait to connect with Mohanji physically again. When I left Shirdi, I felt very sad. I was so excited to be in Shirdi with him. And then again, I didn't think I would make it to Serbia, but when he told me, you come to Serbia, well, that was all I needed. My guru said, come to Serbia. And I was like a little child. Yes, I'm going to Serbia. How it was going to happen, I didn't know. So, uh, it's difficult for me to explain in the, the, the various ways that Mohanji works with us. He, tell, he just goes on quietly, doesn't tell you anything, actually just goes on and he does his job. And then later on you realize, hey, hang on a second, I'm not the same as I was like, you know, five minutes ago. <laughs> I've changed, I'm looking at things differently. Um, I feel that I'm more open. I feel my heart has expanded so much. I feel that I can embrace everybody, whether anyone embraces me back or not. Uh, it doesn't, it's immaterial to me. It never was like that before because I was very shy and very self-conscious. Even though I work in the media, I still have, you know, this kind of shyness about me at times. But with Mohanji, it just disappeared. I can just love everybody, you know, but there are still, still certain things and still in mind, uh, you know, that I'm still working on. Little judgments, etc. They're not completely gone yet. But I have to relate to this. It's to do with my family. And it's to do specifically with my brother. My brother has, and his family have been going through some very terrible times. Absolutely terrible. 
And just very recently, a couple of weeks just before we could uh, come to Serbia, I could come to Serbia, uh, things were gone very bad. Uh, my brother is, um, you know, with the alcohol addiction and he just went wild. And then we were supposed to do a prayer. I was going down to Durban uh, to do the prayer. It was a three day prayer, which Mohanji said would be a very good idea because it was to uh, clear the lineage. And that morning at about two o'clock, I get a WhatsApp message to say that my brother had, um, couldn't breathe and he had to be rushed to hospital. So I was packing to go for three days. So then I had to pack extra things and I thought that I was going to go to a funeral. I thought that that was it because of where my brother was. So, so I packed my things for, you know, for whatever may be required for the funeral. I sent Moji uh, a message to say, Moji, this is what happened, thy will be done. Because he just didn't know what to do. So we went back, uh, went to Durban, from Johannesburg to Durban. And we went to the hospital. I expected to see my brother lying, you know, like comatose or something. When I saw what my brother looked like when you know, we walked in, it was just amazing. He looked like a different person, so fresh as though nothing had happened to him. So, you know, whatever doubts we, we may feel, just go through the doubts. As Monji said, I mean, just go through it, right? But stick to your God. Stay with him. He knows you. He's, you know, he knows his flock. And he, he will guide, he guides us in every single moment whether we are aware of it or not. So I just want to say I'm so grateful to be here. Thank you so much also to this beautiful Serbian team who put all this together. Um, thank you so much, it's been amazing. Uh, you know, we wanted for nothing here, really. Even the food I liked. <laughs> and to, to meet all your beautiful, beautiful, amazing souls. It is such a... Um, such a pleasure to meet you and I'm so humbly grateful. Thank you so much to every one of you and to my good